Good morning, afternoon, and evening, or night time. Welcome back to Hemlock Farm. Joining Seamus on the third of fall, the third season in year three. <laughs> um, starting off in the kiddos' room with Vera here, um, facing the wall. Funny. Um, it's so funny. It all looks so good. And then there's this, this one little room up here that just looks like kind of a, a little disaster. I mean, it's just it's it's like a storage room right now. It's fine, you know. We'll we'll acknowledge it's our skeletons in the closet. We'll acknowledge it soon. Um wanted to start here one just cuz it's really funny when I got off this bench. Um let's see what that happens right now. What happens? Boom. Like literally somehow apparate to the middle of the room. I don't know. But yeah, let's say good morning to baby Vera sleeping. Cutie pie. Let's say hi to Leah doing her morning cooking. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Seamus. I planted these in a little pot out back. Cool. I don't want to gift it to you. I'm going to talk to you again. I grew that with great love and attention. Enjoy it. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's like that like aggressive period after people say things. Like, you know, when you're like um, texting your parents, if your parents are able to text. Um, I don't know. At least like my parents. My, my, my mother especially is notorious for that. Where it's like, um, what's some example where she's like, Oh, like gas prices are low. You should fill up right now, period. And I'm like, oh, yes, mother. Like, I don't actually call, I call her my mom. I don't call her my mother. I don't know. That's even that seems a little bit rigid to me. I don't know. Some people call them their parents, like, you know, mother, father, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going on a rant, a tangent now. Not a rant, just a tangent. Um, but yeah, I just, whenever I see people say it like that, I know that just literally just boils down to proper grammar but for some reason i just it's like maybe it's a millennial slash zoomer thing i don't know where it's like it comes across as aggressive is that just me anyone else like let me know i'm curious like <laughs> whenever i see that i'm like i'm intimidated <laughs> what do i do wrong i'll do better next time <laughs> no it's <laughs> um the funny thing is i guess i have like zoomer energy because i I'm totally fine on phone like I can answer a phone call no problem but the main reason why I think I can do that is because um, I want to make a Leah chest that's what I'm holding on staff deal make a chest of all of her gifts actually let's just turn one of these into a Leah chest there we go um, one of the main reasons why I think I'm okay with answering phone calls is because I've worked multiple jobs where that's just what I had to do like that's just part of the job is answering the phone calls so I've very much become desensitized to it um like it's just a, it's just a part of my being now um because sure sometimes i still get nervous having to call people but i'm like it's it'll be fine it's it's whatever right right now it's very much um a huge barrier for a lot of people and you know the anxiety that comes with it is um unbearable so I, I understand that, you know, I understand that. I can understand how it's very difficult for a lot of people with phone calls, especially talking to strangers. Um, so yeah, I understand. And I hope that you're never put in a situation or at least, you know, far and few in between situations where you have to deal with that if you're someone who doesn't enjoy phone calls and it causes you a lot of stress in your life. Um, thankfully in the, the, oh, I just hit the zoom button by mistake. In the tech age we live in, that is not usually a super pressing matter that a lot of us have to deal with, um, thankfully. So I can't even craft a deluxe wine cake, can I? Because I don't have the gold. Yep. All right, moving on. I think it's a fruit day. Yes, it's a fruit day. I love it in here. I think this is my favorite season with the fall grass in here. It looks so lovely with the fall grass hay. Um, I want to see if, no, only decorate things when you, <laughs> one thing I was thinking, let me pause the time because we're talking decoration stuff. Um, one thing I was thinking of is like on all these beams, like seeing if I can use um, smart building like this. Can I move this? No, I can't. I think there's a way I can move it, but I don't know how you have to hold down a hotkey. Um, to place some of like the hanging plants that we have or like um you know like the vines and stuff just like along the the frame work here because this is technically glass panels right or like um like fiberglass or plastic whatever it may be um but yeah seeing if we can hang some stuff along here to kind of decorate this back wall because it's quite just like barren and just there you know so <laughs> Um, I was just I was thinking about that, but we'll we'll get to that soon because I also want to see if we can potentially do some other things here now that everything's kind of grown in and established and it, 
oops i didn't put it away and it has been for pretty much a year now you know so like maybe some fencing because we can put some of our our fun cottage fencing wow cottage fencing i also need to fix this i don't know how long that's been there i know i complained about it at one point and just forgot about it. how are we doing i can't remember who you are. are you zellerite who are you you are zellerite three hearts amazing you're doing so great okay and let's actually do um a daily haul here as well we're getting like a decent amount of truffles every day having like how many do we have now three pigs where is fearnan gosh always lose fearnan um i'm also thinking pausing because talking decoration again adding in kind of our cobblestone stone pathing just kind of a nice curved path here eventually too um just to fill out this area maybe planting some trees along the river bank which i know will grow over but i think it will fill up this area a little bit more i want to have a little bit more tree things unless just like less field right i want it to feel a bit more mountainous on hemlock farm um make it a bit more alpine in nature i think that'll be fun let's do um uh, a batch of dino eggs 12 13 14 15 16 17 nice and then we can do actually um, let's move these down and then switch then we can do nine and eight and then 17 and oh we're actually like because we don't have sheep i think that's why we don't have sheep yet. <laughs> we have one. All right, I think we have one, and I can't even remember their poor name. My goodness, because I don't interact with my animals. They're self-sufficient. They're like a funny, fun little animal colony where they just kind of are setting up their own norms and uh, processes. You know, they have they have group roles and <laughs> take care of all the chores that they need. To take care. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, um, sweet. Let's add this batch of wonderful animal produce to here. Oh, some cheeses to add in. Excellent. Basically, yeah, once this chest fills up, then we'll take it to um, somewhere, Pierre's somewhere, and um, ship it off. Wow, that was a 10 magma geodes from those. Wow, that was so generous. Oh, I don't really know what to do with this area. We will eventually, maybe, I don't know, because the shed's, like, it's so awkward with this bridge. Because this bridge is, like, there's two, and then it's a bridge. So putting something three here, kind of, like, it it, it disrupts the flow a little bit. Um, but we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Because I'm, I'm thinking that's a good contender for our storage shed situation. I'm just gonna eat this fiber. We have a lot of fiber. I don't have to run all the way back to our current storage shed to navigate that or figure it out. So thank you for the million quartz. Ah, so lovely. And let's store ya in here. There we go. 140. That's a lot of bombs. I don't know what that is. 14. I don't know. Brain's not competing. Computing. Not competing. Jeez. What am I competing for? And let's start our deconstructors. We're just gonna place them here. One, two, because it will eventually be 17, maybe 34. We'll see. Um, I don't think we have enough for the geo crushers. Do they also need gold? I feel like they also need gold, which is why we've been kind of haven't been pursuing pursuing that as much. I don't know. I can't remember. Or bone mills. Jeez, they're not geo crushers. We want to do geo crushers, but I'm thinking we want to do these as, do these as bone mills. I am not. Oh, we actually ran out of. Okay, um, I'm not articulating well today. Hey, um, we'll just put the pine tar in there. That's fine. Wow, we have so much gold quality fertilizer. Do we have enough to do a batch? We do. Uh, let's just, actually let's just do these. We have 18 here. Yeah, let's just take a turn on these. We have enough, so why not? Okay, so we have moved the deconstructors. We're gonna be trying to take care of some of our checklists today, I think. Um, I'm thinking this one, I think this is just a regular size one. Yeah, we're gonna turn this into the, you know, geode crushers. I don't know what else we'll put in there, but like I'm thinking we can expand it over there. Or maybe we will just put the geode crushers in. Yeah, maybe we will just do, maybe we will just do geode crushers in there. 
Because then that's the last of like the vanilla machines that we're gonna want to fiddle with. And then this can be um, what did I say? The the preserves jars, like the regular vanilla ones. Um, how are we doing in here? Actually, oh whoa, the cocoa de mer tree looks really cool. It's so bright. Let's check in here. We haven't looked at these. Oh, I'm so excited for this crystal fruit tree. Whoa, this sprite looks funny. Sugar cane. Willow. Holly looks like it's going to be a bush. That's so cool. What are you? Curry. Wow, that one looks really cool. They're definitely in their next growth stage, so that's awesome. All right, let's do our quick little um, desert trader browsing. See if... Um, see how our pals doing today and what stock they have. Um, did I go past it? White wine vinaigrette. Okay. Raz al Hanu. Raz? Raz al Hanu. What, like, culture is that from? Raz al. What are you? It looks like it's okay, so it's like a powder. Yeah, it looks. Oh, that's cool. Wow, Raphidax, you did such a good job. The powder in game looks very, like, very comparable to. Um, like the real life one. Oh, it says it uses. Oh shoot! I wonder. That'd be cool to buy it because I'm curious. Does these tell us what they're using? Yeah. Do we already have that recipe, or would it be down here? We might already have it, but. Um, Jimmy Cherry. Wow! Look at all these things. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh. Maybe we should buy it. Look how many things this needs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm reading a recipe just off like Google. And it says salt, cumin, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, pepper, black pepper, white pepper, coriander seed, cayenne pepper, allspice, nutmeg, and clove. Allspice and anise. I don't I still don't know what that is. I need to Google that. Cinnamon, clove, cumin, ginger, mace, white pepper, red chili. Look at you go, Raphidax. Oh my gosh. Um I think if you ever made a meal for someone, it would be very good. I'm just getting that energy from you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you're someone who enjoys cooking. <laughs> um, or at least would like, would enjoy cooking, but maybe don't have the time. I don't know, right? But I'm like, just the fact that there's so much things to do with cooking and they're so extravagant and creative. Um, what was I gonna do? Mm, crab pots. Let's actually, you know what we're going to do is we are going to go to Robin's and let's, um, how much wood do I have in here? Ooh, we're actually kind of running low on wood. Okay, maybe I'll start grinding up some, but not turning it into, um, coal is the word that was in my brain, that left my brain. How are we doing in here? Pretty okay. Um, oh, I could do, uh, actually... What if I do the rest, I do a double, double, like 34 bone mills, and then we can do 34 geo crushers. Excuse me. Then we can do two rows of furnaces. So we have 68 furnaces, and then we have one more row of something else. And then, because eventually we're going to move the deluxe wine kegs that we currently have. That shed, it will be repurposed. Like, the wine kegs will move somewhere else. Um, oh. There's not asking to... Oh, it's because I have things on the walls. I was like, why can't we blow up the walls? It's because I have stuff on them, I think. So, build you, just so that we can see. Can I zoom out while we're in this window? No, I can't. Okay. Um... Yeah, because I'm excited. I want to. I don't know how I want to decorate this area. I'm still been considering how to decorate this area. I should put some more grass up here on this little inlet too. Um, these look so cute. Look at the little. I didn't even acknowledge that the little pumpkins because I chose um, when I was redoing the textures for these. We're adding in elves. Um, the ones I copied over were the seasonal options, and it was the the seasonal with the decorations. So look at all of these. They look so nice. It's very um, grid like right now. And again, I might redo that i don't know we'll see i think maybe planting some trees in here maybe a bit more sporadically will break up how grid like it is so we'll take a peek at that um i could do a storage shed right here hypothetically because it won't impede on leah's building area um i could do a storage shed i could do two up here kind of stagger them but that would look a bit funny but I, i'm thinking this would be a contender for storage area and maybe the gold clock just down here. 
like that's where my brain's going for some reason um I kind of like that because then it would actually make purpose and intention to this area and this could be our main storage shed because I think we only need one honestly for the amount of chests we're going to put in I like that I like that idea or I could just put it here and have it floating over I'm kidding <laughs> I already did that with a slime hutch. Those who know, know. If you're joining in early, there's actually a pond underneath this building. You can kind of see the water right there. Um, oh, we should put some grass there then. Anyways, um, it'd be nice to tuck it back here. That's so funny. I can put it on top of current buildings. How chaotic would that be? Um, I kind of want to put it here, honestly, and then maybe move the greenhouse. Which I know is like, I feel like that's almost like a crime, hey? Like that feels like a <gasps> moment. Let's actually, let's look at that. Let's. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move buildings and see if we can find a home for the greenhouse. Because the greenhouse we're not going into frequently, right? So if they be kind of made this more of like the storage area, the, the only issue is the greenhouse has such a big footprint. Um, we could maybe put it in the animal land, like kind of tuck it here or something. Ah, but that, it just, it'll impede so much. We can move it down eventually when we're not using this area as crops anymore. So we can just find like a mildly, like a temporary. Oh, we could do it here and then just make the path more meandering, like when we put it in the path. Or what if we put it here? That really cuts off this path thing though. I can move it up one. Ah, let's do that. Okay, let's um, move buildings first and let's move this, this the shipping bin out of the way. I like this soft purple that's mixed in with all this orange, hey? That looks really nice. Um, let's move the shipping bin. Yeah, I really wanna shoot. I keep on getting so distracted. Like we haven't really been featuring the middle of our farm a whole lot and that's because we don't really see it a whole lot but I think that'll still be fun to feature it a bit more um we'll move this right here for now and now we can move oh my gosh this is gonna mess me up for the rest of this month it's gonna mess all of us up hey um we're gonna move this down here which means we're probably gonna have to think about obelisk things i'm thinking right there because then we can follow this natural path with the pathing a bit more and yes, I know it's kind of like in the fence, but we won't really see it. And it'll definitely be hanging off the cliff. So let's not talk about slope failure. Any geologists out there? Um, so let's try it. Let's just commit and we'll see how it looks. Eee, scary. It kind of looks nice. I mean, obviously we have to move the bush. I kind of like it there. That looks really nice. It's like tucked away. I like how this tree's kind of growing over onto it a little bit. Ah, oh, I like it there. Oh, that's so weird, though, because it's been here ever since the beginning, hey? Oh, that's so weird. I'm, like, uncomfortable. Are you guys uncomfortable? I'm, I'm uncomfortable by that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Nothing's permanent. We can always change it if we don't like it. And we'll get Robin to... I know this is kind of preventing us from building a hothouse, but... So we'll get Robin to build that. Um... I might, do I have, okay, I do have no clip. I might want to go and sneak in there, um, like now, I guess, and plant some trees back there while we have the chance. Plant some trees, plant some grass, just so that, um, like, debris doesn't kind of run rampant. Uh, let's go take a peek to see how our golden pumpkin, oh, they look so lovely. They look so lovely. I'm so excited to see how those progress. Um, okay, yeah, and then we'll clean up that eventually too. We can probably do that sooner than later. We need to make yet another mini obelisk because actually, no, we don't. We can just, we'll just run by the, the greenhouse. Yeah, we don't need that. We can just run by the greenhouse on our, on our rounds. Okay, so we need, I'm thinking probably just pine trees back there, honestly. Yeah, I'm thinking just pine trees back there and I'm not even gonna, um, I'm gonna cheat. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not even thinking tree fertilizing them. Oh, there's some grass back here. Okay, never mind the grass. <gasps> there's a culprit already in here. Do you see it? How could you? Well, at least that leaves a spot for a tree. Um, then let's put one directly behind you and then diagonal. Diagonally. Diagonally. Um, oh, I forgot that I'm still no clip. That's okay. That actually helped. 
put one right there and then let's do i think these are all just one wide so right there right there and right there perfect and now just still no clipping we need to oh my gosh this is stressful drop off drop off and do i have grass starters i do oh that's like the perfect amount okay and then once i do this i'll turn off no clip again i know it's like super cheaty I just want to get this area under construction indeed there okay so that's good case okay, so now no clip is off i hit things again i hit objects um uh, uh, I, I was gonna say let's leave it there but then i planted another one so let's not leave it there um yeah i think that will look nice once it grows in Um, and then we will be able to move a lot of the stuff in there into there. Oh, seed makers. That's another one that we can put down there. Right, because we have 28, so we can make a few more. Oh, guys, it's coming together. It's coming together. I need to write it down, though. Okay, so... Have we done solar panels? Right, Cinder Sap, right, Collect Cinder. I have them there. Um, Where can I add this? I think here, because this is kind of our... Um, Second machines shed. Ch shed shed is going to be um thirty-four geode crushers. Capitalize it because I'm apparently doing that. And then it will be thirty-four, which is a second row, because you can fit four rows worth of things in there. Um seed makers which is plus six to make. And then 68 furnaces, which is plus 38 to make. There. Um, I feel like I need to make this a bit. Where's, what's the star? That's not the star. That's so weird because that's an asterisk key. There's one that's a star. Where do I, hello star? Star, 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 star. Um, I thought there was one that was a star. That's so funny. Let's just leave it like that. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what I can do is I can just do. Why don't I just um do this? Bonk, and then can I? Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four. This is not important at all, but formatting looks nice, hey? I still kind of want... Um, let's just do it for all of them, because I, I kind of just like how it looks now. But this is, like, separate. Like, this is, like, a big thing, you know? Yeah, I'm going to want to add in something here. Where? I thought there was something that was a star. Am I losing my mind? Some of you know exactly what button I'm supposed to be pressing for a star. Is it without shift? No. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. I'll Google it or something. Um, I thought it was like up here. No. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, so it's, it's, um, it's, it's equal. Sad and stars. Yay. <laughs> there. Um, wow, this is like really crazy, but it's so handy. And now all of you can kind of see, because I can touch on that like maybe at the beginning of every week oh shoot i forgot the pathing um i'm thinking today we may oh my gosh that scared me it's so empty there it's like bam empty plot like <laughs> um we need to rename this to to storage or, I don't know, if it, we'll see if it, we call it storage or if we um, call it something else. But I am thinking, like, because this one says storage on it, we might use this texture. I don't know, we'll see. We'll fiddle with whatever shed textures speak to us. Um, but yeah, I want to come and pave over here a little bit. Oh, I just did something in my game, like, freaked out. I don't know why. Yeah, that looks really nice, hey? Um, we need to move this bush. I'm thinking we'll just move it down. Oh. Really, are you going to make me move the whole greenhouse so I can get this silly bush out of the way? I'm going to pull this bush out of the way. Oh, gosh. Are you going to delete the... Ah. Did I have it back one more? 
No, I just want the bush. I just want the bush. Where did I have this? I had it there, right? No, I had it one more up because it was in line with the... Did I have it here? How does that look? I like that. I like it. Oh yeah, because it was nestled in with there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm thinking about, yeah, maybe planting a tree back here. Um, this bush can kind of be a bit more contextualized. Oh, crap. I kind of want it like in between. Eh, there's fine. Okay. Yeah. I like it nestled in there. Again, it's going to take a lot to get used to it being here. Um, but we'll sit with we'll sit with it for now. Um, and who knows? Maybe I'll just get a little too frustrated and eventually move it. I'm thinking we can move the. I'm trying to texture porphyrin in. We can move this maybe somewhere else, a bit more strategic. We'll see. Like maybe right here. I don't know. Anyways, let's um, let's go do some volcano stuff because I want to take care of that. And I think we will. So I'll do it here so you can you guys can all see and keep keep up i'm not gonna do anything too crazy like i'm thinking because how it's if we had like 0.6 1.2 i'm thinking like 1.8 so it's, the time will still flow but it'll it'll flow slower just so that we can kind of guarantee working through there whenever we find ourselves and then we don't have to also sacrifice half a day to be in there um i feel like there's some other things we we're gonna do yeah like we'll see okay let's go test it out see how much time is left to get through the 10 levels and then we will I think we'll have some time to chop down some trees. So let's do it. There's probably something else I wanted to do today, but it's it left my brain already, and that's fine, because we'll get to it when I remember it. Um, yeah. Can, is there anything we need to buy from you? I think we've gotten all the recipes from you, right? Yes, you're just selling some other gobbledygook. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, gem bird. <sighs> Yeah, let's do this area. Let's do it. Um, there's another thing which I know we can do, which is the radioactive tools. So we're going to look at that in some capacity. And that might be... I mean, that might be spoilers slash new news to some of you, but... It's it's also a thing with Margo. It's on their info page. And Oh, we got the Nautilus fossil. Every time I get that, it reminds me of how we were so desperate for that sucker, hey? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I love the swift, but I also love the master enchantment. The swift enchantment is so nice. All right, let's, I think if I scythe, yeah, that should be okay. Let's do you. Slam here. Oh, what is that again? Cassava? Is that a cassava? What are you? Haha! -ha! I am so. I love being able to like recognize things. Like that makes me like myself. Like I, I feel so proud of myself. I know it's like a weird thing to be proud of. Oh, I don't want to have all of this on me, but I, eh, I'll store it for now. It's fine. I can come back for it. It'll be a nice little present for later. Um. It makes me really happy when I can actually recognize that stuff because there's so much to, you know. But I think it really helped with year two when we, um, when we grew a lot of this stuff, right? Like that, that really helped. I'm going to keep all of this on us because we, do I need anything in here? No, I think everything here has at least one yeah, maybe I'll bring one prismatic shard with us so we can start getting a chance on there, but um, anyways, I forget what I was saying, but yeah. Recognizing crops, feels nice. Whoa, that thing like exploded right away. And I do want to get these because we need dragon teeth from them, which I don't even know if they drop dra dragon teeth or we only get them from, um, you know, like when there's like the bone areas on these floors, I can't remember. It's been a, been a while since we've been in here. Um, do I want to keep this? No, it's fine. We don't really. Oh, I haven't done crab pots. That's okay. If we don't do crab pots, we don't do crab pots. Me being like, we'll finish the... Um, the prestiging by the end of the week. Not this rate. Um, okay. I want to kill the... Um, whatever these things are called. I can't remember what they're called. The 
cinder sprites. I can't remember what they're called, amber spirits, because they they give you cinder shards. I don't know why their name is like leaving my brain. That's so weird. Dingling ling. Oh, I got a comment from someone about that dingling ling. Um, recently recording. Definitely won't be recently by the time that this video is released. Let me, I just, because I want to give him a shout out. I love giving shout outs now to folks who comment. Um, let me remember how to do this. Um, nope, that's not what I want to do here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. It is from 321 Robbie Roo. <laughs> 321 Robbie Roo, who said, let me pull it up. Um, I've really been enjoying this series. Um, they commented on episode 102 um, of the Rapidax series. Looking forward to getting more, um, looking forward to you getting more into the Rapidax content, which by, if you're watching it at this point, I have, right? Um, I know you record well in advance, but I think the dings in the mines are to do um, when you get a crit and fills the bar up. Maybe when the bar is full, you have a higher chance to poach items. So talking about the limit break here, possibly, I don't know. But yeah, I think it was that ding -a ling which I think is when I just, I think it's when I just like steal an item. That's when the sound happens. I don't know, but it's so lovely to hear from you. Robbie, one, oh, sorry, three, two, one, Robbie Roo, not just Robbie Roo. Um, I appreciate you commenting, commenting on the videos. And I'm curious if you're still watching, because we are definitely, um, what would we be in now? We're in like, episode, we're in like the 280s. So we are more than a hundred episodes away from when you first comment. Um, so I don't know, say hi. If you're still watching, because I'm curious. Maybe you've already been commenting on more videos. I don't know. But I very much appreciated you commenting on that one. And it's funny, because me talking about this is like the day that I read your comment. Um, oh, oh no, we're going to be stuck with the exploding sound for probably the rest of the episode. Okay, I might... Just because I think it's kind of like a white noise noise, but it also might be kind of annoying to some people. I'm just going to turn this down. So we'll just, it'll be more of a, my voice kind of episode now. Um, but just because that bomb noise, I think will irritate, irritate some of us to no end. Um, oh, okay. Oh yeah, we have Swift on our, oh, this is so weird playing without sound. I don't know how I feel about this. This is weird. I'm like, uncomfortable. Like my... I'm like not in a state of homeostasis. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like my my normal like you, I can't. I feel weird. Which maybe is normal for some of you because I know there's a good chunk of episodes where this is pretty much what it sounds like, where you can just hear my voice and barely hear anything else, which I do immensely apologize for. Um, but yeah, it's like I I didn't realize how much I rely on. Like oh oh it went away. So we just had to switch floors, it's okay. Um, I didn't realize how much I relied on sound cues for things, or just like, you know, for the the immersion, I guess. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? I'm gonna actually drink one of these because we're not gonna be getting a lot of Spelunker perks kind of influencing us too much with 10 floors. Wow, there's not a lot on the floor. Should You know what I should do is I should actually um, craft some monster musks. We should just put some monster musks in that chest. We should look in that. What do monster musks take? They take like bat wings, don't they? Whoa, speedy. Um, yeah, I think they take bat wings and some other things, but I think bat wings would probably be the resource we would have to look at the most. Um, also, does... Ah, shoot. I don't know when we entered. I know it was around 4 o'clock and we were still in the dig site, but I'm assuming that it, we didn't enter here until like 4 30 ish 6 10 okay time is still flowing like relatively quick honestly so but not like too quick oh there's a cinder shard down there we want that we want you how many are we at now 42 oh we're doing so good okay if we can get to 60 that would be amazing that would be amazing let's get these because there's sometimes goodies in here Goodies, goodies. Oh, hello. Um, I don't know if I want all of these. Dropped a lot, so thank you so much, but um, that's really inconvenient. 
Um, yeah, I want these Cinder Clown shoes because they're six and five, and I think the and the Mermaid shoes are better, but we'll get them when we get them. I think that's the only other thing, yeah, that we can really buy from Dwarf. So that Dwarf, who, that'd be so cool. If there's ever a, a mod to make them a friendable NPC, I think I would just to acknowledge them more, have more intention to visit, you know. Oh, we got a dragon tooth. Okay, so they do give dragon teeth. Good to know. I couldn't remember because I know the draw table for them is a little bit different because of Margotings. So, um. Donk, donk, dink, donk. That, yeah, that's, they explode like right away. That's so weird. I wonder if that's Margo changing them. Has that always been like that? Have I just, again, I we have not spent a lot of time in these volcano mines. Or at least... Not recently, like I think it was like spring maybe that we were in here when we were trying to complete the monster eradication or maybe it was even winter year two, I don't remember. Um, but I feel like it's been quite some time that we've been in here. Ooh, look at those cinder shards up there. There's also some over here. Which I know I could be using bombs for, I don't know. Does that influence? Maybe. We'll try that on the next ones. Um, the copper is also really nice because we have to craft a lot more furnaces now. So we're going to need a good stockpile of copper. And I know we just plas plasted, blasted through a lot of it in the furnaces recently. So because we had like 500 or something. We had like so much of it. Um, this looks like a good bomb spot. Donk. We haven't seen a chest either. I just realized that. Ooh, we're getting spit on by lava lurks. Lava lurky lose. I'm also kind of like don't have a lot of HP. <laughs> Spooky. How are we doing? 36 minutes on the recording. We're doing pretty okay. Um, I know this is going to add time to the recording because time moves slower in here. Um, it's been about an hour since we last checked the time though. So, oh wow, a mushroom floor. How rare and beautiful are these, hey? Oh my gosh, I love mushroom floors. Is this this? I think this might only be the second time we've seen one on this playthrough, hey? I know we've gotten one before. <sighs> should get a monster eradication for those guys. I don't even know what they're called. But that'd be fun, because that'd be hard to complete that monster eradication, hey? Just how rare the mushroom floors are. I would, I would download a mod for that monster eradication in a heartbeat, just for, again, like longevity reasons. Um, a little bit more intentionality to the gameplay. Forcing you to come into the volcano mines more often. I think that'd be fun. Some people are like, no, you're a sadist. Um, I don't know. Maybe I am. Oh, no. We're getting the noise again. I'm so sorry, friends. It will it will go away um, once I leave this floor. One of you? No? Okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll go away once I leave the floor because that's what the last one did. So, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, and I didn't even make the pathway there. Okay. Um, let's see. One of you is... I don't need a... Okay. Apparently I do need to kill you because you were in the way. Not that one. This one. Yay. Oh. Huh? Oh. How do I... Oh, I have to work all the way around. Wow. That was like such a... Huh? Moment. <laughs> there we go. Just cover the whole thing. Why not? There we go. At least we got another... Um, magma Sprite. That's what you're called. A Magma Sprite. Jeez, y'all knew I'd get there eventually, right? <laughs> Take a little bit. Do you all know what the difference between lava and magma is? Where are my geology friends? Um, oh! <gasps> oh, they only give defense, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we'll put them in the dresser, though. I was so excited there, but then they actually weren't that great. I mean, the defense is really nice, but I also want the immunity because... Monsters are annoying and they de- annoying? Annoying and they debuff the snot out of you. How many? 72! Whoa, we got enough. That's crazy. Unless, does this go up? So, you can see that it says soul, 1 out of 3. Soul, 2 out of 3. But 6200 plus 10 plus 10. Soul, three out of, or just a soul and then it has 60 out of 210 so nothing changed even though we fully use the galaxy weapons on it so i guess we'll do it now it's i'm like really upset to do this um 
because it's been treating us so well but it's just part of the progression of the game and some of you know what i'm about to do because you've done it yourself some of you this is going to blindside you but we're actually going to take our lovely blade of dawn here which is so strong we're going to put it in here and we're going to unforge it goodbye blade of dawn which gives us a hero soul so when we do this oh it only takes 10 we can actually use the hero soul on our galaxy hammer which then makes the infinity hammer and we keep the hero soul you keep this forever because then you can do this with the galaxy sword the galaxy dagger but yeah we have our infinity gavel and it emits light so look at that my friends we have a strong weapon. So it was 60 to camera what it was, but now it's 100 to 300. Crazy! 200 knockback, plus 10 swing speed. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to throw a whole bunch of emeralds on this to make it faster. That's the plan. But obviously we don't have the cinder shards for it, so... But yeah, there we go. Just one visit to... I was not... Honestly, I was not expecting that to um, be a one... This is all that remains of our Blade of Dawn, hey? Um, I was not expect expecting that to be like a one-stop visit to the Volcano Mines for that. I thought that would take at least a couple, but yeah, there we go. There's some more Margo content for y'all, um, which I know some of you maybe, maybe have been wanting. I don't know. Again, I, I can't see the comments or whatever, but I know that some of you have probably just been itching for me to do that. Um, but yeah, that's some content, and I feel like... The normal progression is you're supposed to kind of like work at that a little bit more, but um, I'm not too worried about picking these. Actually, I will pick them because we want the money. Um, so I apologize if again you've been like, please just go and deal with your silly infinity weapon. I have now, so there you go. It's funny though because it wasn't the infinity sword. Hey, some of you probably thought I'd do the infinity sword, but no, we're going down the club route and we're going to speed it up because it is strong and I love the special of it. Um, how it has like the slam and it has like a pretty good it has a it's a little bit modded from Margo which I think we saw very early on in this playthrough when I was still going through the regular mines and I was just using like whatever weapons came to me but yeah I'm excited to try it out I'm excited to have like a, a stronger weapon that will one shot a bit more effectively you know Um, actually, you know what we do after this is... It's 910. That's pretty good. So we, we can actually do... We'll do some tree chopping. We'll do some tree chopping. Um, I might... Actually, yeah, we can just... Sorry, my brain's going like six different directions right now. Do this, but then do this, but then do this, but then... Oh, the leaves at nighttime. That's so pretty. Oh, shoot. I brought the dragon tooth home with me. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We're going back anyways. Um... Infinity Gavel, ha. I am Thor. Um, let's grab these because we can, we'll need these to craft, so. And then we can put in, how are we doing? 104, again, I don't really want to. Um, use the, the copper right now. Just because I want to make sure that we can get our furnace project going. Because once our storage shed is done, we'll probably upgrade that other shed. I think that will be in the plan. Um, okay. Yeah, a lot of projects ongoing, hey? But it's fun. Like, I love how busy we are. Like, it's year three. We're almost, like, we're, we're in, like... We're like 66%, maybe a bit less, um, done year three. But we still have so much. Like, we're working on... So oh, jeez, that scared me. I forgot our greenhouse wasn't here. Um, we're still working on so much, trying to complete so much. We'll just, I guess, store away what we can in here. I don't really know. Um, I might just yoss that little bit of work, because it's whatever. Um, mm, interesting. Magma caps. Okay, I'm gonna probably yoss those of that as well. Oh shoot! I brought those bombs home with me. Okay, that's good to know. So I have bombs. What else did I say? I had to go back into. Oh, I have dragon teeth on me. I have two here. Okay, so I should bring home those other dragon teeth as well. Then, um, let's go down to sheds. 
so I can clean up over here a little too. So I got some stuff here that we can tuck away. Bonk. I'm not going to worry about those. Um, jades right now, those crystallariums. We, we're not we're not super pressed to grab all of the jades all the time now. I mean, we have how many? Like 700 staircases or something currently in that one chest. Um, let's see if I have magma caps in here or if I'm just storing them up by the volcano. Okay, I'll put them in here because this is kind of like our mushroom land. Okay, and now one last thing we do before we cut down trees because it's 10 p.m. Yikes. Um, that's okay if they're desynced. Is I want to come into this chest and grab... Yeah, we'll grab four. Four of these. Okay. And probably... Well, I just like bounce it like rebounded off that obelisk. That was funny. Um, let's rip on back up here. Grab Fearnan. And we can prep the next task at hand. Um, we're not completely done with the gavel. Oh, we have diamonds in here. Or, I don't know how many I'm going to want to use. Like, we'll kind of maybe incrementally add them. But yeah, we're going to be doing some fun with Iridium Bands. Um, we're going to incrementally add the, the emeralds. Just to see... Just to see how fast it gets. And like, maybe if we get to a point where we're like, Oh yeah, this feels like really good. Um, then we'll stop there. Like, I'm not too... It doesn't need to be, like, as fast as possible. I don't even... Because, like, the monsters have, like, certain, like, invincibility frames to them. Where, like, you can swing so much and then you just don't hit them anymore, you know? So, seven. Nice. You need... How many was it? Ten, I think? Um, obelisks. Like, you, you, you hit them and then you can't hit them for, like... It's like 0.4 of a second. It's nothing too crazy, but it gets kind of annoying, right? Um, did I replant my mahogany? I did. Okay, so they're ah oh, wow, they're actually growing in really well. Um, hi coyote, came here to just sell those. Papaya, you were selling a papaya. Okay, so now let's go back to the bus stop and let's just chop down whatever trees we can, I guess. Um, I think it's actually kind of good that we're not going to be able to cut them all down because we don't have the storage space <laughs> currently. And again, I know like one thing I was thinking was getting like a stack size increasing mod, but I don't know. It's kind of fun having to like make more chests to store everything in. And then you just like having a full just like chest of just wood is going to be so satisfying to see rather than like one stack that's like 20,000 wood. Which is also really cool, but I think just seeing like a full chest of like 999 wood is like, we worked hard to get that and we got it. Yeah, I'll be able to clear out like maybe like two or three rows. Um, I'll do it until midnight and then we'll do crab pots. Because I keep forgetting over our poor crab pots. Oops, did I pick up a path? I did. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, uh, it's ugly. Okay. Um, did I miss a path down here? What happened to that poor path? Doesn't seem to be too impactful, hey? Well, that's kind of funny. Um, how are we doing? Yeah, okay, we'll just do that. Oh, I cut that tree the wrong way. I forgot that we can't cut trees that, that way. Yeah, that's good. We'll just do that one row, and then we'll come back soon to do the rest. What happened here? Is that where... Oh, that's just because that's... You, you can't do anything there. 15... Wow, 15 surplus pine cones. That's crazy. 48. Oh, this looks like going to be another 50-minute episode. Was that... um? I thought might have been a couple episodes. Maybe like... Yeah, I think it was fall one. So whatever two episodes ago it was. I was talking about the file sizes. I, I looked into it after and... Um... um okay, let's see if this is actually quickly before. Let's just see if this... Oh, it's just back to doing one. Okay. Um, I looked at file sizes and a 50 minute video is three gigabytes. That's the size of it. Which is crazy if you think about that, that every single one of these episodes is around 50 minutes long. Like think about how much footage in like file size I have. Cause this is year three. And I know for like, I think it was like probably like the first two years, like the, the, Oh, we're gonna have to get another chest. 
I have to get another chest? Ah! It's like I have wood on me or something to make another chest immediately. <laughs> uh, I don't want to put it there because I don't want to like block myself. And I know some NPCs stand here, but they can just stand in the chest. It's fine. Um, okay, so we have to get a little creative here. Let's move all of the original crab pot fish into this one. Yeah, we'll see how far that gets us. What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was talking about before I started talking about that. Um, I don't remember. Brain, lost. Oh, just like file, like the amount of raw footage I have in terms of memory. Like it's crazy. It's ridiculous, hey? Um, sardines and albacores. Wow. But we're getting like, is albacore? I thought that was like a winter fish. Okay, I'm curious though. Did we get a max size? Crayfish, snail, or periwinkle? The answer is no. So still don't know if that's even a feasible thing. Which again, I mean, some of you might tell me. I'm still just also just discovering it on my own too, right? So who knows? We'll see. Either we'll discover it together or someone will let us know. Um, and, you know, maybe by the time someone comments on it, I'll have figured it out. We'll see. But again, because I'm posing the question, that is fair game to give a response because then those who are curious about knowing the answer can potentially look at the comments and those who just don't want to know the answer and discover it themselves will just not look at the comments, <laughs> I guess. Or if you want to be like a super friendly soul, you can say, hey, to answer your question about the crab pots getting potentially max size, um, there is a spoiler below and then you just hit like enter a thousand times so that it has to do like the show more option in your comment. And then people can expand it if they want, you know? I don't know, I just want to be mindful of everyone and their own ways of approaching their playthroughs and stuff, because I don't know if there's people playing along with me. Um, maybe, maybe not. I haven't actually released the mod pack yet, um, which I really should do, because I think we're, we're pretty much established. Like, we're settled into what mods we're running. I haven't really added in any mods for quite some time on this playthrough. If anything, it's been, like, small ones that are just, like like aesthetic ones or like it's it's things like no clip mode because I got myself into trouble at one point right so but that's not necessary for the playthrough so I should really do that I should make a note of that to actually make a mod list so that folks can recreate this playthrough and play along and and share you know kind of the crazy things that are happening in their playthrough I think that'd be really wonderful to hear or like maybe even sharing how like if they're using sunflower acres how they've decided to set up their sunflower acres farm um which I think Raffidax like I think you were saying that you were doing that too because you there's one video back in like the oh my gosh I don't even know what episode that was like 70 I know it was a two digit episode um and you were saying how you you would run somewhere and then to like you'd be like wait where's my mini shed <laughs> but you didn't have a mini shed so i don't know i think that's kind of cool i've always like wanted to do that is to like make the same playthrough as like a content creator's playthrough and play that playthrough with them which i know obviously there's gonna be deviations just due to rng but i think that'd be cool not to like copy them verbatim but just to kind of like join in on the journey as well right i think that'd be fun um if you are doing that please let me know because that would be such a like and like, I, don't, I guess like validating oh whoops okay bye um that'd be like a really validating thing to hear i would love to hear that that'd be so that'd be so sweet that'd be so sweet um anyways we passed out so i want to thank you for joining us on the third year of fall and we actually got a shipping page wow i, didn't, I forgot that we shipped something but thanks for joining us on the third day of fall year three 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 complete um and we'll have our last one next year we'll have four 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 next year hey um too bad we won't get triple seven that'd be really cool with lucky seven um but anyways thank you for joining us on the third day of fall year three there's a lot of moving parts today. Hey, we got a new weapon. We got a big weapon today. So that's really exciting. Um, but I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.